Today, Mark Zuckerberg intensified his spat with Elon Musk, his personal foe, and went for the kill by releasing Threads, a new program that resembles Twitter and is connected to Instagram. With Twitter in disarray following Musk's decision to temporarily impose a limit on the number of messages his users may view each day, Threads is currently available for pre-order in the iPhone and Android app stores. It is scheduled to launch this Thursday. Screenshots from the Apple App Store demonstrate how much Threads resembles Twitter. Users may publish their thoughts, with or without images, using their Instagram account. There isn't much information available about Threads and how it functions, but Meta calls it a text-based conversation app, where communities come together. Users will be able to curate Instagram posts as normal and share links and thoughts in a similar fashion to how Twitter operates. Due to its connection to Instagram, which has 500 million daily users globally, experts claim that Threads has the potential to become enormously impactful to Twitter and is by far the biggest threat that Elon Musk has faced so far. Due to hatred between the competing billionaires, who have stated their desire for a cage battle with the Colosseum in Rome as a potential location, Threads has earned the moniker Twitter Killer Online. After frequently advising Twitter followers to deactivate their Facebook accounts and branding the social network claim, Musk now seems more motivated. Musk set a restriction on the number of posts account holders may read every day, leaving Twitter users enraged and threatening to leave. Mr. Zuckerberg is now stepping in to snag these users. Users of TweetDeck are also incensed about Twitter's announcement that it would soon only be available to those who have paid for verified status. Due to issues with how many businesses and websites are using Twitter's data, the billionaire CEO of SpaceX and Tesla has temporarily restricted Twitter usage. The same limitations do not apply to accounts that purchase a blue tick, which are typically owned by celebrities, prominent people, and businesses. 10,000 posts may be seen daily as opposed to 1,000 by non-verified users. The program, titled Threads, an Instagram app, is referred to as Instagram's text-based conversation app. Their communities come together in Apple's App Store. The Instagram connection to Threads, according to experts, means that it poses by far the biggest threat that Elon Musk has faced so far to Twitter and the potential to become enormously impactful to Twitter. Today, it appeared that all Apple users could view it on their App Store, but only Android users in some countries, including those outside of Britain, could see it on the Google Play Store. The Tesla entrepreneur Mr. Musk recently set a temporary limit on the number of tweets people may read on Twitter. Days later, Meter unveiled its ambitions. According to Matt Novara, a social media strategist and market researcher, Twitter users are pleading for a more accommodating platform after being dissatisfied with modifications made as a result of Elon Musk's acquisition. I think that Threads is the first true, realistic danger to Elon Musk's Twitter, 
He asserted, users of Twitter are anxiously trying to find a way off the network, and the alternatives that are now available are pretty limited. They all have the same significant issue, which is that you must start from scratch because this is a brand new network. One of Meta's main advantages is that it's growing off of Instagram, where users are already familiar and can grow their following since it connects to the same social network. Mr. Novara claimed that Meta made the choice to employ a similar design for Thread's interface because it wanted to make the platform as frictionless as possible. This design was seen in the announcement's pictures. It resembles Twitter nearly exactly in every manner, according to James Clayton, the BBC's North American technology reporter, who was speaking on Radio Fuster Day programme. The fact that this is linked to Instagram, in my opinion, sets it apart from Twitter. Since I've been talking to Metasources recently, it has originated from Instagram and has direct access to hundreds of millions of Instagram accounts, and unlike many of Twitter's rivals, this isn't just beginning from scratch. Because Instagram has such a large user base, it has the potential to have a significant influence on Twitter, which is why journalists like me and others are quite interested in this. This is by far the greatest danger Elon Musk has encountered to yet. Access to Instagram's 2 billion monthly active users will be advantageous for Meta. Meanwhile, it's believed that 364 million people use Twitter each month. I do believe a new microblogging champion will emerge to dethrone Twitter, but it is far from a given that the victor will be Meta, according to Steve Teixeira, chief product officer at Mozilla and a former executive at both Twitter and Meta. I've seen Meta do a very fantastic job of picking up business ideas or product features and copy-pasting, said Megan Adar, a former Instagram executive. Some people may criticize them for not being innovative, but I believe this is a wise move. It happens amid ongoing antagonism between Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg and the Tesla billionaire who acquired Twitter in October. Two of the most well-known billionaires in the world agreed to fight each other in a cage last month in a social media discussion that went viral. The introduction of Thread comes amid a period of turbulence at Twitter since Mr. Musk assumed leadership in October, during which time the billionaire restructured the business, fired hundreds of people, and put many functions behind a paywall. Facebook and Instagram's parent company, Meta, said in mid-mock that it was developing a new social network that may potentially compete with Twitter. According to the App Store description for Threads, Users will be able to connect directly with your favorite creators and others who love the same things, or build a loyal following of your own to share your ideas, opinions and creativity with the world. We're considering a decentralized, autonomous social network for exchanging textual messages in real time, Meta said. The launch of the new app follows Twitter's announcement that TweetDeck would be the next corporate offering that would only be available to customers who had paid for verified status. According to a message from Twitter support from yesterday night, 
the app, which enables users to manage various feeds and searches, will only be available to verified users for 30 days. With the instruction to upgrade, a new version of TweetDeck is now accessible. The declaration comes after Mr. Musk stated two days prior that users were only permitted to see 600 posts per day. Later on Saturday, he said, the limit which had been set up to address extreme levels of data scraping and system manipulation had been raised to 1,000. The decision's declared goal was to restrict how data from the social network may be used by other parties, particularly businesses that feed artificial intelligence models. However, the limitations may lead to users losing access to Twitter for the day after reading several hundred messages. After previously being restricted to 6,000 posts per day, verified users those who have paid for a membership to Twitter Blue or are deemed notable can now see up to 10,000 posts per day. Twitter users have reacted angrily to Mr. Musk's most recent announcements to address data scraping, and advertising experts have predicted that they will weaken new chief executive Linda Yoccarino, who assumed her position last month. The Colosseum in Rome has apparently been proposed by the Italian government as the venue for a confrontation between Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk. Last week, the richest tech moguls in the world pledged to engage in a cage battle that would go down in history. According to TMZ, the Italian Minister of Culture has gotten in touch with the head of Meta to offer to organize the UFC match between the two billionaires at one of history's most storied arenas. According to reports, Musk and Zuckerberg are both eager to fight it out in the storied location, with the latter even tweeting, some chance fight happens in Coliseum. The article claimed that Dana White's agents had contacted the minister in response to the offer, which appears to have gathered pace after being forwarded by Zuckerberg's team to Dana White. Rome's most recognizable monument is the Colosseum, one of the world's seven wonders, although it hasn't held large crowds inside for hundreds of years. Few hundred fans can fit inside the over 2,000-year-old amphitheater on makeshift seats. In 2003, Sir Paul McCartney gave a special charity performance for 400 patrons who paid up to $1,500 each. But now, Musk and Zuckerberg could be getting ready to put on a display that rivals the gladiators of ancient Rome. It's unknown if Zuckerberg and Musk will perform inside or outside the iconic building, since prior concerts have been performed outside the theatre.